What up, everybody? When we were first introduced to Snaps and Pop Henry, Ronnie was asking them for money to help him get back in the game. Snaps agreed, saying they would make a small investment into Ronnie's burgeoning enterprise, but the lion's share would have to come from other sources. Or like Pop would say, they would give him some of the money, but he would have to get other fools to throw in too. And we know that Ronnie didn't get nobody else to throw in, but he jacked for the rest of the money. First by stealing a the car, then taking it to early Tyler for some cash. Then after getting rid of Unique, he went to clean out Unique for his jewelry collection. And I assume the money Unique had hid under the mattress was in the other bag as well. And I'm guessing Ronnie took Unique's jewelry to early Tyler for cash also. And by the time he did that, he had enough money to go banging at Juliana's door, letting her know that Neek is gone for good and that he is ready for that work. But there was a small key to keep in mind during this conversation. That Juliana wanted this deal to be between her and Ronnie only, keeping her cousin Joaquim away from it. Then at the end of the episode, Ronnie was knocking at Kanan's door with a special delivery, letting Kanan know that it was time to get to work. So the big question I have to ask is how did Juliana have access to that much work outside of her cousin and get it that fast? And the answer is simply one or two explanations. First being that she stole the work from Joaquin, but I doubt that she would be that bold. But I think that the answer is that she has access to the Colombian pipeline directly. So she is able to deal directly with Joaquin's plug and let him also know not to let Joaquin know anything about the deal. So now that Juliana has backdoor Joaquin, I think her next move will be to go to Ronnie to take out Joaquin for her to become the queen pin. The episode 7 trailer shows Juliana telling Ronnie that enemies are dangerous, especially when they are family. And Juliana isn't talking about Unique here because they think Neek's dead. So she has to be talking about Joaquin. And it's obvious from Juliana's moves from season 1 that Juliana is power hungry, vindictive, and holds a grudge. Very similar to Ronnie. In season 1, Juliana was a lowly bodega clerk working for her abusive husband until Rock and Lou stepped in to use the bodega as a stash spot. But when Rock saw that Juliana's husband was abusive, they came up with a plan to take him out as long as Juliana did her one favor, introduce her to her cousin Joaquin up in Washington Heights. The rest was history. By the time we get into season two, Rock had expanded and taken over four project buildings being supplied by Joaquin and also had plans to expand to Baltimore and D.C. with some guys named Tremont and Abraham. But at the end of season two, Rock found out that she had been backdoor by Tremont and Abraham as they went straight to the source instead of working for Rock. Notice when they said they went to the source, they went to Juliana and it was her decision to cut out Rock and take the deal for herself. Part of the reason why Juliana made this move, other than the fact that she's hungry for money and power herself, is because Unique took Juliana hostage at the beginning of season two, and Juliana felt like Rock should have done something about it. But instead, she started working with Unique herself. Keep this in mind as I get to Rock showing up at Joaquim's restaurant at the beginning of season three to tell them that she was out the game. And during this scene, Joaquim gracefully had no problem with Rock walking away. But Juliana wanted to teach Rock a lesson and show Rock who she was dealing with. But Rock insulted Juliana, saying she knows exactly who she was dealing with. Juliana was the she used to buy Newports from. Then Rock left. So similar to how Juliana felt about Rock not doing anything about Unique, she also felt the same way about her cousin not doing anything about Rock. And like I said before, Juliana holds a grudge and is very vindictive. And from that point, I believe it's been on her mind to kill Joaquin and take over his organization. But she needed somebody to do the job for her. Then in steps Ronnie Mathis. Much like in season one with Rock and Juliana's husband. Juliana said something like, she chose Rock for this job from the beginning. This lets us know that Juliana is an underestimated chess player planning several moves in advance. Under normal circumstances, 
Ronnie would not be able to get access to Joaquim to be able to take him out because Joaquim keeps security around him at all times. But with Juliana being the insider, she will be able to set Joaquim up to be killed by Ronnie. This will put Juliana in a position to take over Joaquim's operation and making Juliana extremely powerful at the same time. Having Ronnie as her New York distro, as well as Tremont and Abraham as her distros for Baltimore and D.C. In the episode 7 when Juliana is telling Ronnie that enemies are dangerous, especially when they are family, it looks like Juliana and Ronnie are getting close as they're sitting together on the couch. So with that said, I believe Juliana is about to become Ronnie's love interest. Like I've already stated, they're both power hungry, hold grudges, and vindictive. And if Juliana asks Ronnie to kill Joaquin, they will also bond over both them killing a family member who was once close to them. I've heard plenty of people make the claim that Ronnie is left-handed like Rock would say, simply because of his scene at the club when Unique was trying to hook him up with two females, only for Ronnie to scream, Get off me! But in my opinion, this was not to demonstrate that Ronnie was left-handed but to show the capacity of Ronnie's mental health issues. I've been told that Ronnie was autistic, OCD, amongst other things. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I wouldn't know that, but I do know that Ronnie has a lot going on up there. So with that said, Ronnie has a one focus state of mind, where he can only focus on one thing at a time and becomes obsessed with it. And keep in mind at the club at that time, he had just been disrespected by the bouncer. And it bothered Ronnie so much that he later came back to kill him. And sticking with the fact that Ronnie obsesses over one thing and can't focus on more than one thing at the same time, Ronnie has been obsessed with getting back to work. So now that Ronnie has got the work, we might see him calm down and become more human. That's might. And that is a big might. But at the same time, with all that said, I think it's going to take a special type of woman who Ronnie can feel comfortable with and let his guard down around almost like a special kid. And because of his ability to bond with Juliana, this is why I can see her becoming Ronnie's love interest. And there's also one more thing they have in common I want to get into before I wrap this video up. And that is their common enemy, Raquel Thomas. So after they take out Joaquin, I definitely think that Rock is going to be Ronnie's next target. Especially when Juliana puts that battery in him to get rid of Rock like she did with Unique. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.